Hello ho everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Yellow. So as I mentioned before, it's time for us to go to a place. Saffron City. Let's fly there, shall we? So Saffron City is a place occupied by the rockets at the moment. With Sylph under control, we can exploit Pokemon around the world. Yep, we gotta stop them. Oh, this is Mr. Psychic's house. Okay. Oh, I did rearrange my team, right? Yes, okay. Another rocket. Hmm. We can't get in the gym, though. Get out of the way. You get out of the way. Well, let's go in this gym. Hmm. What is this? Fighting Dojo. Let's prepare for a battle gauntlet. Hoo-ha! You're trespassing in our Fighting Dojo! Hoo-ha? Black Belt wants to fight. Okay. Well, unfortunately for these guys, I managed to end up with Pokebo in the front, so... Now we can see just how broken Drill Peck is. Drill Peck is probably the best uh, flying move for instantly usable. Um, it's not the best flying move, period, but just because you can use it every turn, I would say it probably is uh, better for damage per turn than the other. <laughs> another move that is actually stronger. And is basically fly without the invincibility. The one I'm moving, I'm hinting at, is called Sky Attack. So, Sky Attack is an interesting move. It's very powerful. Like, one of the strongest moves in the game, period. But it requires a turn to charge up. And then it unleashes afterwards. Oof, I give up. The prime fighters across the land train here. I hear you're good. Show me. Okay. Watch up. Hmm, these guys are noticeably weaker than, uh,. Than Koga, and it's hilarious because Go Koga is the actual fifth uh, fifth gym leader, and Sabrina's the sixth. But I do believe that Koga's uh, the battle with Koga is actually like one of the strongest battles before you leave the mainland, which is really silly. Although theoretically, you can very easily get to Sabrina before you get to Koga. <laughs> That's right, we're probably going to be waltzing through this area because none of these Pokemon in this area are going to be that powerful. Oh, we're going to have to cancel out Leaping Lizzie's. Judge, one point. Our master is a pro fighter. Nothing tough frightens me. I break boulders for training. Okay, well... I break people who break boulders. To be fair, Primeape is a good Pokemon. But for some very reason, some peculiarly peculiar reason that is not quite known to science, fighting types are weak against flying. It's one of the reasons why Pokebo is staying in the front. We're just gonna kinda waltz right over through here. <laughs> Yow! Stop fingers! The only thing that frightens us is psychic power. Well, no, flying works too. Roar, take your shoes off! Uh, no. I like my shoes. I mean, I suppose I am invading your house. And wearing shoes in here when it's your house is probably very rude of me. But you should have a sign that says remove shoes at door. <laughs> that 
That moment when you say something and then realize you sound like a complete and total asshole for saying it. Sorry, there's just really not a lot to say here. I'll be glad when we get to more interesting battles. I probably could skip them, but I've made it a point not to skip any trainer battles, just the uh, wild battles, so... It's kind of what I'm doing. I give up! Okay. I forgot to talk to him. I am the Karate Master. I am the leader here. You wish to challenge us? Expect no mercy. Whoa! Insert battle cry here. Hit Monty. Objectively, the better of the two Pokemon, but not my favorite. Hey, I'm willing to admit that Hitmonlee is technically better than Hitmonchan in pure damage as a fighting type Pokemon. Because it gets better fighting type moves and has a higher attack power. However, I much prefer Hitmonchan, personally, because of the type coverage it offers. I very much like having Thunder Punch, Fire Punch, and Ice Punch all on the same Pokemon. And on Generation 3, when you can have all of those and Sky Uppercut on Hitmonchan, then it's real fun. <laughs> Beaten! Indeed, I have lost, but I beseech you, do not take our emblem as your trophy. In return, I will give you a prized fighting Pokemon. Choose whichever one you like. You guys know which one I'm picking, I just said so. <laughs> you are the best in bunching, Hitmonchan? Yes. Hmm, I had to think about which one I was going to name it. Hmm, I'm thinking here. Thinking. Still thinking. One moment, folks. With the power to shatter dreams and stars, we now have... I don't have apostrophes here. It's okay. Mott. I'm not going to get an opportunity to name something Mott in a very long time, so... Boss said he'll take this town. Okay. Well, we won't let him, huh? What do you want? Get lost. Aww. Meanies. Saffron belongs to Team Rocket. No, it doesn't. Actually, question. Who does Team Rocket... Or bleh. What, who does Saffron City belong to? What's this building and why are they not guarding it? Silfco, office building. If they're taking over Silfco, why is it unguarded? Well, you know where we're going. Be right back because I forgot to go eat. One trip to the Poke Center later, as well as one bite mouthful of Alfredo pasta. Welcome to the Silfco building. We're gonna be here a while. So it has an elevator. And it does not require a key to use, but you can't go where you need to from the elevator, so we're just gonna skip that for now. Now, if I remember correct, oh, and there's war panels in here, in case it wasn't obvious. Because why would it be obvious that there's war panels here? Darn, it needs a key card. Yep, that's what you gotta do. You can actually get through majority of this place without battling anybody. I wonder if Sylph is finished. Hmm.
I just realized something. You're not where I need you to be. Oh, poor Fungar. Okay. It's off limits here. Go home. Scientist wants to fight. Magnemite. 28. Yeah, you're supposed to come here before. Oh well. What's better, Body Slam or Slash, I wonder? Well, definitely not Thundershock. Slashed. Huh, and that was without a critical hit. So yeah, no, Slash is going to be stronger. Because of how often it critical hits. Now that I think about it, does Slash increase critical hit? Might only be in the Pokemon Stadium one that it does that. Because, you know, with the broken critical hit rate thing. Ooh, Magneton. Hello. Yeah, I think that's it. Let's go to Body Slam. Hmm, critical hit. Paralyze. Ooh. Ooh, I'm going for the Slash then. Now I can save my Body Slams. You're good. No, Fungar. Can't let you have do that. Actually, now that I think about it, I just thought of something. The level these guys are... How much strong, how strong is Ulyavra? Oh, Ulyavra's might be strong to fight these guys. Huh. We'll let it keep going as it is for now. Oh yeah, Fungar needs to be in front. Um, If anyone dies, though, I may run back to heal, and if I do run back to heal, I may take off the, uh, the XP all. We'll think about it. No kids are allowed in here. The heck you say? Give on. Oh, hey. Hmm. If I thought he was going to stay with Keybones, I would you know, change, but yeah, no, I doubt he's going to stay it, so. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I figured. Go for the stab! That did almost nothing. <sighs> Confused, Ray, of course. Let's go for the body slam! That'll work. Tough. Diamond shaped tiles are teleport blocks. They're high tech transporters. Why are you telling me this? Which thanks to Pikachu. He's happy. What'd you say? Can you solve the maze in here? Eh, give me enough time. Oops. You're causing us problems! Eh, I'm about to cause you more problems. Hello, Glimer Grimer. You're gonna kill Fungar, aren't you? These poison types have been really bad about killing Fungar. Oh, 
don't pound? Okay, maybe not. He didn't use sludge, so we're good. Electrode. Hello. Light screen. Hmm. Too bad I'm not using special attacks. My ears. Huh? I lost? So what do you think of Sylph Building's maze? Hmm. I am one of the four Rocket Brothers! There are more than four rockets in here. Hmm. This could be a problem. Oh god, yep, Smog. We're dead. Oh, I hate smog. See, wheezing is awfully defensive. And I can't heal back the damage smog does. I just can't. Oh god, sludge. That's even worse. Well, goodbye, Fungar. I'm sorry, Fungar. It's been nice knowing you, though. Alright, um. Let's show them what mistakes they've made. Because this is the power of M. Ooh, oh brothers! I'll leave you up to my brothers. Yeah, we're gonna have to retreat, so I'm gonna go retreat. I'm gonna take off the, uh, by the way, you can dig in the middle of the building, which is funny. Um, and I'll meet you back out here with the XP all removed. One moment, please. Okay, so let's return to Silco. Excuse me. Hey, kid, what are you doing here? Hmm. Well, I'm trying to stop you guys. Hmm, perfect. Don't tell the game that about it. it's weird animation for Surf. It looks more like rain. Yeah, I also am noticing that it's not quite all showing up at one time on the uh, the recording. To start watching that. 
Yeah, it plays some of it, but then it goes away. Like, there's a rain effect through that whole sound effect. Right before the, uh, the water blasts there. Hmm. You know what? Ooh, a clean sweep by Yavra. Oh wait, there's still a Zubat. Can I outspeed this Zubat? Yes, I can. Okay. Can I one-shot the Zubat? Yes, I can. All right. I goofed. Self Cope, we merged with Team Rocket. All right, Oliavra, have some HP. Oh, hey, I've been here. Wee. Okay, well, I'm back where I was. That's the important part. All right, let's go up here. Hey, beds. Is that where I want to be? Don't tell me I was that close. Okay, I wasn't. In case it wasn't obvious by me pointing out the beds, there's a place you can heal here. Hello, how are you doing, buddy? That's as far as you'll go! I mean, if you say so. Yeah, go ahead and quick attack me, buddy. It's okay. Okay, critical hits are not okay. Weird animation for Toxic. I don't remember that. Yeah, you know what? I'm not taking your bullshit critical hit. <laughs> to be fair, I could have really done nasty stuff if I had rap. But yeah, let's not let's not break the game too much. Toxic and rap is an evil combo that no one should ever use seriously. Oh god, here comes another critical hit that's gonna one-shot me. Oh no, I didn't. I'm just doing this as a showcase. See how that Toxic's getting really strong? Like, I'm gonna heal this turn. And as long as he doesn't kill me, he's probably gonna die to poison. And I know I can survive a critical hit, so... Goodbye. Oh no, he survived, okay. Well, we'll go ahead and use Acid. No, he's going to die to poison now, because <sighs> he critically hit me. Of course he did. God, I hate this sometimes. All right, let's pull out Fungar. I'm not taking that lying down. I'm going to use a revive, because I'm not losing Yuliabra's EXP to that. Bullcrap. Now you can die to poison. There we go. Yeah, this XP's gonna be terrible anyway. Let me just go to Yield Yarva. And of course, he just bite and one-shots me, right? Oh no, he didn't one-shot me. Came pretty close, though. And I'm dead. Oh god, I hate critical hits. It's so aggravating. Oh, I swear, trying to keep somebody alive just so they can get the XP is so dumb sometimes. But the EXP all is not doing my 
what I need it to, basically. Oh, great. There we go. Not enough grit. If you don't turn back, I'll call for backup. I am one of the four Rocket Brothers. Okay, this is Brother 2, I guess. faster than me. It's critical, and I know it didn't hit critical. I'm so shocked. I need Ilyamra to get leveled up. I, I really desperately need him to be leveled up. Okay, it's not even a question at this point. survives by a tiny bit of HP and confuses you. Oh, Yulyabra's not going to stick around for that. Because that's just going to go all kinds of badly. If you disable Bleach Life, okay. Fungar refuses to go to sleep. Or stay asleep, at least. Before you lose. Good day, sir. Rorg, brothers, I lost. Warg, you're not a chocobo. I know it's Warg, but still. Close enough. My brothers will avenge me! No, they won't. Oh, okay, you're actually already in place. That works. Let's go. Your Pokemon have weak points. I can nail them. Well, only one, really. And that's only if you're using Electric-type. 
Yeah, see, I'm not going to be using my Pokemon this week against that. So, uh, goodbye. Hey, Lizzie, get out of here, please. Well, that wasn't anticipated, but okay. Hmm. Yeah, I don't trust you. Bye. Really? Sonic Boom's not good. Alright. You hammered me. Yeah, well. Exploding weak spots does work. Think about element types. I, I know. That's what I did on you. Ah, actually here's a very important thing. Okay, Lizzie's almost beaten down. Let me heal him real quick. I heard a kid was wandering about. I mean, I am wandering about. Oh, he only has one Pokemon. This is going to be really strong. Yeah, 33. Liavra, I'm afraid that's beyond your capabilities. Alright, Lizzie, get him. Might be beyond Lizzie's capabilities, but you will see. Bite. It's gonna hurt. Not a lot, but enough. I'm glad I healed him. Leer. Good sir, you should have bit me or poison stung me. But instead, you wasted your only turn. Goodbye. Boom! You didn't have a Voltorb. It's not smart to pick a fight with Team Rocket. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Going this way now. Card key! Yep. Now we have the card key. Now we can get out of here. Well, not really get out of here, out of here, but... Well, hello. Show Team Rocket a little respect. I don't think I will. Keep no. 33, hey. Oh, and you're a psychic type. Okay, Fungar, time to do your thing. Please don't get confused. Please don't get confused. That hurt. Oh, God. Please don't disable Felicia Life. Uh, we're getting to the point where Leash Life's weak weakened, uh... Weak ability is really getting to me. Because it's super effective, but there's not very many powerful bug-type moves. Leech Life is not very strong. Poison Gas, okay. Yeah, M tried to learn that. I told him no. Goodbye, Fungar. Hmm. Strict. Now, if it was Bind, I might relearn it just to exploit Toxic, but yeah. <laughs> Which reminds me, coughing involves no wheezing. Yes, yes it does. And goodbye. Yep, now we can go up here. Now, because I have the card key, bingo! The card key opened the door. Now we can skip most of the teleporter maze. 
Not all of it, but most of it. TMO9. What's TMO9? I wish I could remember. Takedown. No, we won't learn Takedown for now. I would like to just get to the healing room. I just can't remember where that is. Over for Sylph. What should I do? Come in the door. I should remember what floor this was on. So I should do research before I do this. Hi, potion. This isn't where I thought it was. Oh well. Your Pokemon seem to adore you, kid. Yes, especially my Pikachu. My Pikachu loves me. Hmm. Well, Yavra, this may not be a battle for you. Sorry, buddy. Alright, Pokebo. Hmm. Maybe I should show off Skullbash. So this is Skullbash. Lower its head. Uh, I hate sleep. Absolutely despise it. The worst part is, I can, literally can't do anything because of Skull Bash. Until Skull Bash is able to finish, I can't do anything. So he can completely kill Pokebo just because I'm locked into sleep. I woke up. Skullbash. Skullbash is powerful. Very powerful. <laughs> We're not doing that again, though. Let's just stick with Drill Pack. If I had started as a trainer at your age, maybe things would be different, right? Here she is. You look tired. You should take a quick nap. Don't give up. So yeah, this lady heals all of your Pokemon. Literally a Poke Center in the middle of a what is technically a dungeon. And that's what we're going to call it for now, because I've been recording for quite a little bit now. Well, we're coming up on some long episodes just because of what we're doing. But until next time, folks, we hope to see you again. Later. <laughs>